Hello guys, I hope you are feeling completely well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Arash and I'm here to teach you French language in English. Let's get started. As you already know in the previous video, we uh, learned about the, the French alphabet and I taught you the pronunciation of each of them in the alphabet form. In this series of videos, we are going through uh, the, alf the, the French alphabet and uh, the pronunciation of each of them we will see the pronunciation of each of them by each other so voyel uh, uh, we know that in the in the alphabet we have voyel and consonant voyel are the vowels like a e i o u in French language, we have these vowels that they are called voyelle. And other letters of the alphabet are conson. They are called conson, consonant. So now each of them, each alphabet letter and the pronunciation, the sounds that they produce in the sentences or in the words. A. Ah. The first one, this is called A, and this sound also is A, like in the words avion, avion, avion is the, the airplane, allo, behind the phone you say allo, lavabo, lavabo, we have two A in this uh, word, and you must say la va bo lava bo this is the wash basin in the toilet we have wash basin lava bo taxi everybody knows about it the meaning taxi we have a and we must say taxi parch parch really easy don't say park parch park so the first one a the pronunciation in the uh, words are also is also a so like avion, allo, lavabo, taxi, parch. Easy. The second one, b, a b. The sound is also b, like ballon, ballon. It's balloon, bomb, bomb, bomb. Guys, we say. Bomb, but we don't pronounce this e uh at the end of the sentence. We will go through it uh, after some minutes. Uh, bomb. So whenever you have the word uh, the letter e, uh, whenever you have the letter e uh at the end of a word, it is not pronounced at all. So you must. It, it is not correct to say bombe. No, no, bomb. Why? Because the letter e uh, at the end of a word is not pronounced at all. So bomb. You must pronounce this letter, uh, this word, as bomb. Boulevard. Boulevard. B. Boulevard. Exactly. Why it is red in color? Because another word, another letter that is not pronounced at the end of the word is also this so now we know that we have two letters in french language that when they come at the end of the word they are not pronounced like o oh, when there is no accent there is nothing over it a simple e uh, and when we have de the letter de at the end of the words so we are they are not pronounced like bomb and boulevard don't say boulevard no no boulevard table again we have a uh, at the end of the word and it is not pronounced so we say table table boulevard boulevard table table bacteria Again, we have O at the end of the word, so it is not pronounced, and we say ba a b a back, bacteri, 
باكتيري باكتيريا بادمنتون ب ا بادمنتون بادمنتون اتس بادمنتون اتس كايند اوف سبورت سو ب لايك بي ب ذا ساوند از ب اولسو سو وي سي بالون بومب بولوار تابل باكتيري بادمنتون What about C? C, A, B, C. Whenever we have C, and after this letter, we have these three letters. One of these three letters, like E, O, or Y. You must say C. You must pronounce this letter C. So whenever you have C, and after that you have one of these three letters, E. Uh, and y and y at that time you must pronounce this letter C like cinema mm -hmm. you see C and after that you see the letter E so you must pronounce it C so cinema don't pronounce it kinema so it is uh, it is C not K why it is pronounced C? Because we have E after it. Cinema. Citron. Cinema is cinema. Citron. Citron means lemon. Citron. Lemon. Sourcil. Sourcil. We don't say sourcil. 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 The eyebrow. Cible. Cible. Another time that we have the letter O at the end of the word and it is not pronounced. So we say simple, simple. Again, we have C and the word uh, and the letter O after it. So we must say, we must pronounce it C again. Like police, like puss, like chance. And you have the letter O. The letter E, the letter E at the end of the word and they are not pronounced. When we have the letter C and after that we have the letter H, again you must say C like bicyclet. You have the letter O at the end of the word and it is not pronounced so you say B like B, B, C, C, L, T, bicycle, bicycle. And cycle, cycle. But guys, if you have the letter C, but after them there is no E, there is no E, there is no H, none of them exists. At that time, we pronounce that letter C like coca. We have C, but after C, we don't have any of these three letters so it is not pronounced C it is pronounced K like coca like commode like concert and the third letter that comes at the end of the word and it is not pronounced it is the letter T so now till now we have three we have learned three letters that whenever they come at the end of the words, they are not pronounced. One of them is O. The other is D, as you see in the word boulevard. And the third one is T. So it is not pronounced. We don't say cons concert. We say concert. Coca, commode, concert. A, B, C, you know these three letters cook don't say sock why because after c there is no e e and each page so you must say k cook cook means rooster commissaire sommissaire is not correct commissaire commissaire queer queer in this letter, guys, you see the letter C, and after that there is no E, 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 G, so you must say it K, so queer, and 
O at the end of the letter is not pronounced, so don't say cuire. Cuire is not correct. Cuire. Cuire. It is to cook. It means to cook. Culture. Culture. Again, there is the letter O at the end. I will not repeat it again and more and more. I have repeated it several times and now you know that the the letter o at the end of the words is not pronounced so you must say it culture control guys if you respect the rules that i am teaching you right now in this series of the videos uh, after this series of videos 100 percent you will understand how to pronounce the french words without any difficulty culture culture Control. It is not pronounced, so you say control. And why you don't say it central? Because after the letter C, there is no E, O, and H, -E. it is O, so you must say K. So control. Control. Copiage. Copiage. Copying. Cotton. Cotton. Cravat. Mm -hmm. Cravat. It's tied. Cravat means tie in French language. You, you, you are wearing a suit and after that, for example, you are going to a wedding and you uh, wear a tie. So cravat in French language is tie. It, it means tie. Canada is a country, you know. Cuba is a country also. Comedy. Comedy is a comedy. Comedy. It is called, it is pronounced comedy. It is, it is pronounced K and it is not pronounced at the end of the, the word, so you say comedy. Guys, whenever you have the letter C, but at the end of the letter, you see something as, a, as an ending. It is uh, like that in this shape. This is, this say, it is called C, C, D. It's the name of this letter. C, C, D. It is called C, C, D. And it is pronounced C, like Francais. Don't say Francais, because this is C, C, D. And C, C, D is pronounced C, so you must say Francais. Francais. It's a nationality and also it is a language. The language that you are learning right now. Garçon. Garçon is the boy. Garçon is boy. After that we have the letter D. D is really easy and it is also pronounced D like bond. You don't pronounce it at the end, you know. Bond, dance. Adult, adult, and after that the letter E, there is nothing over it, so you pronounce it E, like LE, SE, don't pay attention to the meanings, just focus on pronunciation of these words, LE, SE, by passing the time, if you continue my videos, you will understand all of them without uh, any missing so I will not miss any things when I teach something so don't worry guys follow the rules and follow the videos and by passing the time you will understand everything without any difficulty you can pronounce everything you can uh, start speaking just uh, be confident and follow learnings lo so mo to no po po aha uh -huh. new word po means a little po means a little poti poti i will tell about this kind of uh, writing by passing the time i will explain to you why i put a letter o at the end of this, the some of the adjectives in the parentheses, I will explain for you just now. Uh, 
know that this word is pronounced potty. Potty. Why we don't say it potit? I'm I'm speaking about this, the gray one. Why we don't pronounce it potit? Because, as I told you, whenever we have the letter t at the end of a word, it is not pronounced like de at the end of the word is not pronounced like a uh, at the end of the word is not pronounced. So poti and poti means small. Blow, blue. They are adjectives. These two words they are adjectives, and I will speak about adjectives in next videos. Another letter is a, uh, but as you see, there is something over it. There is something above this word. This, uh, this uh, I mean this shape. Mm -hmm. The symbol. So this is a accent aigu, guys. This symbol, this this symbol that exists over that we put over the letter O, it is called accent, and this is accent aigu. So whenever you see the word O, and over it there is something like that. It is called accent aigu, au accent aigu, au accent aigu, and you pronounce it, when you see au accent aigu, you pronounce it e, like ete, the summer, ete, étudiant, étudiant, student, when you say étudiant, this is a male student, but when you say étudiant, you add the letter O at the end, it is the female étudiant, the female student, étudiant, étudiante, an accent aigu, ou accent aigu, étranger, étranger means foreigner or foreign, étranger means foreign, télé, télévision, télévision, télé, TV. Tele means TV. Décoration. This word is easy. It comes from English language. Decoration. Décoration. Accent. Or accent aigu. The pronunciation is E. So you must pronounce this D. Co. Why co? Why you don't say so? Because after the letter C, we don't have E. E, y, so we must pronounce it ko, and this is called the ko, ra, and t e o n, t e o n is called sion, decoration, decoration, petrol, petrol, it is petrol, petrol, bebe, baby, television. TV or television, telephone is telephone. Guys, uh, in the next video, I will teach you about other letters, the pronunciation. And I know that these rules are a lot and they are a little bit boring, but by passing the time, if you be patient and uh, respect the rules, learn them, and please write them over the paper and after on a piece of paper. And after that, keep that paper beside you. And whenever you are going to uh, pronounce a word, uh, you can help with that piece of uh, paper that you have uh, beside yourself. And by passing the time, these rules will be hacked on your mind. And there is no need to use any other paper. You will you you put it away, and you can pronounce all the French words, phrases, sentences uh, without any difficulty with a really good French pronunciation. So, have a good time. If you like my videos, please comment below the videos. Please share them, 
and uh, put it the thumb thank you so much bye bye